Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, how to run a sewing machine or how to repair your pants. Believe it or not, I actually know how to run a sewing machine thanks to my mom. <laughs> they would rather not sew, they would rather go for walks. They want to go outside and it's pouring rain. But my mother-in-law gave us a really cool sewing machine and I thought, well, I'm going to fix my pants because my pants have some huge holes in them. My point here is that sewing machines are expensive new, but you might find one at a garage sale or a tag sale. This one is really super nice and that the this thing comes out. I bet all these things have names for them. So this arm makes it really easy to fix pants and sleeves. So the first thing you want to do is you have to make a patch to go over the big hole in your pants. <laughs> and the way to do that is you have to have a sacrificial pair of pants that are beyond repair and I wear black Carhartts, right? You think they noticed? Yeah. So I uh, took a, I have my Carhartts that are no longer wearable. I cut a piece out and I made a rectangle and I hemmed it here, folded over the cloth and then sewed it here. Okay, so this is our patch, and that'll be the outside of the patch. All right, you have your patch. This is where the, the patch is gonna be in the outside of your pants. And then you are using some little pins to hold this in place to do the sewing. Now the trick here is you wanna attach your patch to your pants, but not the back of the pants, okay? So I usually put my hand inside and push the cloth up. And not stick yourself. Right, don't stick yourself. You want this as flat as possible. And that's pretty thick material, right? Yep. But there you go. You just want to hold it in place and then we're going to sew it. All right, we've got it pinned. And notice I got the pin heads on the inside because I'm going to run the thread, the sewing machine, right around the edge here. And the sewing machine can run over the needle, the pin part, it can't run over the pin head. Hopefully your machine comes with an instruction manual because uh, they're really this is kind of like the 3D printer of its era. It's an amazing machine. Uh, it does all sorts of stuff. And I read the book a couple times with these really detailed things about how to thread it. If all of a sudden it stops sewing, like the needle goes up and down and stops sewing, I found if you re-thread the thing, it seems to solve whatever problem it was. All right, ready to sew? Who sews the pants in the family? I do. <laughs> Fallout fails, read the directions, okay? Actually, you should just read the directions first. This is a garden, not very ungarden fork like, but read the instructions. We'll put the foot down and go forward. You mean you have a gas pedal? Yep. Press the reverse button. You want to go back and forth a couple of times when you first start. To reinforce? Uh, to start so it doesn't unspool. And then I run this right along the edge and try and keep this as flat as possible. Okay, when we're gonna turn, we keep the, you can adjust the needle. You want the needle in the cloth and then lift up the foot and then turn. And this is kind of difficult because you're dealing with a pant leg. And again, this these are work pants. It doesn't have to be perfect, but pants are expensive. And if you can fix the knees and you get another season out of them, then what the heck, okay. The foot goes back down again, and then we work on the next side of the patch. Now it's looking easy. Uh, it's a lot of wrestling with the cloth. You want to keep this all flat so it doesn't, because if it bunches up and you sew it, it's going to look weird. You've done a couple of these already, haven't you? Yeah, I've repaired quite a few pairs of my pants. Uh, it just saves you money, you know? And we had a sewing machine, so. The hardest part is navigating your pant leg around the around the thing and not sewing your pant leg together. Together. <laughs> Have we done that? <laughs> Oops. Have you sewn your finger yet? No. It's good. Alright, this isn't gonna be perfect, but it's, it'll be done. So I hit the reverse button. that. Pull the thread up. That seems smart to me. Ooh. Cut your thread like that. So you didn't have to put a knot in it? That was the knot? That is the knot when you do the reversing a couple times. 
Okay, we've reoriented uh, the pant leg on the machine so I can do the last side of this thing. So again, when we're gonna start, we're gonna go forward, hit the reverse button, and then go forward again, and just run this up. We wanna keep this as flat as we can, because if it bunches up and you sew it, it looks weird when you wear your pants. Learn yeah. from me. You wouldn't want that, would you? Are you gonna put some paint on that patch or something so it looks normal? Oh, it'll get paint on it. All right, so we're gonna cross the other thread we did, hit reverse. Oh. Uh-oh. What does that mean? I don't know. Shall we pause for a commercial break? I sewed the bottom of the pants in here. <laughs> okay, one minute. Do you like the rain? Would you like this? Reverse. All right, there you go. There's a lot to this, but if you just kind of learn by doing, just kind of follow my guide. I just wanted to kind of put the idea in your head to go pull out that sewing machine and fix your pants. On a rainy day. Yeah, it's raining, what else are we gonna do? What else are we gonna do? <laughs> Throw the tennis ball. <laughs> All right, if you, if you like what we're doing here, we do this every week, you can hit the subscribe button. Was the question? Yeah, uh, when do you take the pins out? Oh, now you just take the pins out. Do that before you put your pants on. <laughs> but if you want to hit the subscribe button, uh, also hit the share and like and thumbs up buttons below here. <laughs> Good thing it's black on black. Share this with your friends. <laughs> with black thread. <laughs> and sign up for our email newsletter. <laughs> and also check out our iTunes uh, show, our iTunes podcast, Garden Fork Radio. Not bad, huh? It's good for work pants. It'll work. These pants are expensive, so what the heck? We're going to see these in the next show. Here we are. All right, see you later. Can you autograph those? Sure.